Flags across the state are already at half mast. Governor Cuomo issuing the order after learning of the death of Christopher Slutman, New York City firefighter serving in the U.S. Marines in Afghanistan. Killed in a roadside bomb attack, he was one of three whose lives were lost. It's really heartbreaking. You have a, a beautiful young man from a, a beautiful community that was coming home soon and to get news like this, it's just devastating. Locust Valley residents now learning of one of their own also killed. At just 25 years old, Marine Corporal Robert Hendricks was also a victim of the bombing, an attack the Taliban has already claimed responsibility for. The Long Island native just celebrated a birthday on March 4th and was due to return home in the next two months. In a statement to PIX11, Hendrick's mother, Felicia Arculio, said Monday evening the knock on the door no parent should hear came. We are inconsolable and broken into a million pieces, but I am and always will be proud to call my sons United States Marines. Arculio adding her younger son Joseph is also in Afghanistan, and now he is painfully but proudly escorting his brother home, not what they or any of us had planned. Corporal Hendricks was a true hero. He lost his life defending America. Terrible. It's, uh, it's just awful. And why are we still there? Hendricks was a 2012 graduate from Locust Valley High School. The school principal today saying our staff members remember his kindness, passion for service, and commitment to friends, family, and our country. The local American Legion says they will be in touch with the family soon and hope to honor the fallen Marine. You know, you don't know where fate's going to land you on you. And, uh, you know, to have two in New York is tragic. And for us to have another casualty, another KIA from Locust Valley is really a tragedy.